Hey, what's up everybody? Tutel Toby here, and in today's OnShape step-by-step tutorial, we're gonna take a look at a tier one challenge. Now, if we visit the website tutaltoby.com and we say get started with free practice models, we can see here that we've got a repository of over 150 practice models challenges, challenging you to go from a 2D drawing to a 3D model. But what's going to be really helpful for our newer users is to use the option for show filters and to filter by tier level one. This way you'll only see the easiest or the lowest complexity level models. These are all models that can generally be completed with two to three features in the feature tree. And so today we're going to take a look at this challenge here, 240904. So let's click here on click here to practice. And then we're going to take a look here at the click here to begin button. And now we are going to reveal this drawing in three, two, one, go. So what is the mass of this part in xxx.x grams? The clock is running and we're gonna try and enter that mass right down here. This is a hollow cube. It is made from 1060 aluminum alloy, 2,700 kilograms per cubic meter. And again, this is a tier one challenge. So if I was gonna create this model in just two or three features in the tree, I think what I would do is I would create this 60 by 60 square on the top plane and then I would extrude it up to a height of 60 millimeters. So extrude that up to a height of 60 millimeters, giving me a solid cube. And then I would perform a shell command and I would shell this thing out with a seven millimeter wall thickness. So I think that's how you want to approach your shelled out or your thin walled models whenever you're working in 3D CAD. And I think in the case of this model, we do have some center line geometry here. So I'll probably just center this thing up right on the top plane. So let me move this over to my second screen. Let me bring up my keyboard cam so you can see all the keyboard shortcuts that I'm going to be using. And we're going to choose to create this new document 24-09-04 hollow cube and i am creating this in the public space in onshape so if you ever log into onshape or use a free account to get into onshape you can just search for this document in the public space and you can examine how i built the sketch and the extrude and the shell so we're going to start out here on the top plane press the s key on our keyboard we're going to choose to begin a new sketch and then we're going to press n on our keyboard that gets us normal too and now we're going to press the s key again to go into the rectangle command really here i'm going to use the center rectangle so if you don't have that on your s key you can fly out this menu here for rectangle and you can choose center point rectangle or just press the letter r on your keyboard so center point rectangle single click this point here at the origin move my mouse single click again and now i'm going to let go of my mouse and i'm going to type in 60 enter 60 enter and that gives me a 60 by 60 square and now i can choose to extrude that square extrude and we're going to bring this up to a height of 60 millimeters as well so 60 enter bring that up to 60 millimeters you can press enter again to finish that command that gives you that solid cube and so now you can choose this command here shell so the shell command is very helpful in on shape it lets you create thin walled parts by removing one or more faces so I'm going to choose this face up top here as my faces to remove. Pick this face here as my faces to remove. And then I'm going to say I want this value here to be 7 millimeters. 7 millimeters, that's what's called the wall thickness for all the remaining faces. So we type in 7, enter. The preview updates, it looks pretty good. We press enter again, and there we go. That looks pretty basically like the model that's in our drawing. So the one thing that we could maybe do here is press the letter P on our keyboard that hides our planes. We could come down here to the name of the part in the parts list and we could right click and choose edit appearance. We could say we want this to display as a gray, kind of similar to what's shown on the drawing sheet, similar similar to what the customer gave us. It's always good to match what the customer gives you. And then we could also right click there on the name of the part in the parts list and say assign material. This is gonna come from the Too Tall Toby custom materials library. And we're going to assign the material of 1060 aluminum alloy. So we hit the green check mark and then we go down here kind of behind the clock we've got this button for mass properties mass and section properties click that button and then we're going to click here on the part anywhere on the part and we see that we're coming up with a mass of 280.4 grams so let's go back over into the app 280.4 and enter and oh yeah we got it right yes 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 congratulations that answer is correct 280.4 
and we did it in three minutes and 54 seconds. So I'm gonna say submit, and let's take a look at our data and analytics here. So we go down to data and analytics. We're ranked number 344 out of 429. So I guess a lot of people were able to complete that model a lot faster than me. Looks like the average time was two minutes and 42 seconds. We did it in three minutes and 54 seconds. So that's okay. Maybe what we could do is we could go back in and we could do try again and see if we can't get a faster time. But for now, I'm happy with what that time was. And I hope that you are happy with that tutorial. And if you are, be sure to hit the like button on this video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and be sure to come back for the next Too Tall Toby on-shape step-by-step tutorial. See you, everybody.